want to go get it? Go get it. Good girl. The design of the house is centered around taking advantage of the natural environment in which it's situated. We have about five acres of land. A little more than half of that is woods. Lake Austin is really a serene, beautiful place. We lived in the Bay Area for more than 20 years, and the idea of moving from away from the coast was a little bit of a challenge, but once we built the house here on Lake Austin, we, there was just no other place we wanted to be. It's just really magical here. We were trying to maximize views of the lake and connect the house to the outdoors, while at the same time provide privacy for the owner. So we work diligently on site to protect all of the existing trees. The house is organized along a linear boardwalk element that takes its cues from a pier that was originally on site. It connects the lake to the house, to the pool, to the guest wing, all the way to the motor court. Grant and I met with the architect early on. They asked us to describe how we would use the space. We didn't really want an enormous house. We wanted just enough house for the two of us and space for entertaining and space for guests. Well, we didn't really have a plan. <laughs> we, we had sort of a vague outline of the kinds of things that we wanted, but we really, really leaned on the architects. We love the modern aesthetic, but we really want it to feel kind of Texas-y, kind of ranchy, but have a lake house feel. So can you combine all of those things together for us? The layout of the house is very open and fluid. You walk in the front door and you're immediately into the great room, which is comprised of the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. This dining room table is um, really special to us. It's actually madrone and it's a single slab, and so you can imagine the size of the tree that it came from. And the special thing about madrone is it's a protected species. So you're not allowed to just cut madrone trees down and make things out of them. Uh, they have to naturally um, fail, fall, uh, what have you, in order to be able to utilize the wood. So um, this is fairly rare and we love it. So we have this rolling screen here that uh, goes between the television and gas fireplace, part of the kind of industrial aesthetic. Here on this wall, the appliances are very carefully placed for optimal utility, and the items that you don't see, which are hidden behind uh, the consistent paneling, are the refrigerator and the two freezer drawers, as well as um, behind here we have uh, the toaster, the coffee maker, the blender, and other small appliances that you don't necessarily want to see when you're not using them. All of the steel elements in the house were all made locally by craftsmen. The shelving in the kitchen is all custom made and was highly engineered in order to withstand both the weight of the items that were to be placed in it as well as the weight of the shelves themselves because they're suspended from the ceiling and attached by turnbuckles, all very high tech in, in the steel craftsman world. The chandelier is an unusual piece and it's based on a, a work of art by Man Ray. He made this great mobile sculpture out of coat hangers. We also had local craftsmen make uh, a lot of the lighting fixtures. Completely separate from that, we have a whole nother wing to the house, and that wing has two separate guest rooms and an exercise room. When we're finished with guests, it's real easy to just fold up the beds. We wanted to have a lot of glass in this house. The environment is so nice and pretty that we wanted to be able to see it all the time. The master bedroom is really a loft design, which is wonderful. It takes advantage of all the views. You feel like you're in a treehouse almost, but you can also close it off. There's an enormous barn door on rollers that completely seals off the, um, the view to the lake, which is what you want when you're sleeping. The barn door also dampens the, the sound that comes from the lake. Uh, early morning bass boat fishing is very popular around here, especially on Saturdays of all days. We're very active, although I kind of call myself a semi-retired triathlete. I, I still try to maintain a pretty healthy level of activity. We have a 25-yard lap pool 
and it's right adjacent to the house, so there's no excuses. It's also really important uh, for us as triathletes to get our regular lap swimming in, and having it be a 25-yard pool is ideal because you can exactly measure out your, your workout yardage. I grew up with boats, and uh, so it was really important to me to have a boat dock. We love boating. Uh, it's fantastic here. Uh, the lake is about 22 miles long. Lake Austin's a constant level lake, so you don't get the big variations like you do in the reservoirs. It's fantastic. Every day I make this little commute across the catwalk to my uh, glass office, sit and work and noodle on my guitar. The fluidity of the house is really one of my favorite things. It's all very kind of open and connected. Nothing feels closed off. Um, that's an advantage in that you can, you know what's happening in the house no matter where you are in it. I have an office, it's actually an office nook, but it's kind of my command post. I really enjoy being where I am because I overlook the entrance to the house and I also have another uh, place to look out over the pool and the lawn, so I see everything that happens. What I love most about the house is being able to walk out to the lake at the end of the day and sit in a chair with my wife and have a glass of wine, reflect on how our days went, and uh, just enjoy the outdoor space.